Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to another edition of Trad Cat Night Breaking News right here on the Trad Cat Night YouTube channel. Folks, just got finished with another exclusive breaking podcast with Father Paul Kramer, notable Fatima expert, researcher, exposer of the one world religion, exposer of the obvious new religion that we have in place since Vatican II, my former, former spiritual director, for those who were not aware of that. And we just got finished with about an hour and 15 minutes of perhaps some of the greatest uh, talk, talking points, talking material that Father and Kramer and I have ever worked through. And some of which I'm about to divulge right now so you can get more or less an understanding of what was talked about uh, in this talk, which you're only going to find at trancatnight.org. Now, we, of course, talked Francis, all, all of his, his latest... Uh, buffoonish heresies his attack on celibacy the death penalty uh we co concretely discuss francis being a formal heretic and how we are to classify him differently than benedict the 16th uh, in general we talk about this novus ordo crisis of both faith and corruption it's not just a matter of corruption folks it is a matter of faith and people being led astray into the tenets of a whole other new religion under the guise of being Catholic. And they're literally uh, being led as lambs into the slaughter, which is why we denoted this talk as what the title of his book is that he's working on to deceive the very elect. We talked about his true story from former secretary of Ecclesia day on this apostasy in general, just how hideous it is. He talked about traditionalist ghetto mentality. What does that entail? Well, join tradcatnight.org and find out. We talked about Sauls and Cisco more leading traditionalists into heresy. Again, a lot of these websites now, unfortunately, are heretical, whether it's the Catholic Family News or Remnant or a lot of these other website uh, websites who, who are espousing Sauls and Cisco's heresy. Uh, this is one of the foremost points in Father Kramer's Bur uh, book, and surprisingly, Cardinal Burke actually got this area right and supported what Father Kramer and I have been saying now for quite some time. Now, very interestingly enough, Father Kramer talks about his behind-the-scenes talk with Father Malachi Martin. What did they say concerning the third secret of Fatima? When Father Kramer approached him and, and discussing just how bad it was, Father Malachi Martin retorted in return if it was only just about that and it will cause the hair to stand up on the back of your head concerning the third secret of fatima we talked about how revolution and father kramer agrees with me is leading people into the arms of the antichrist this is not a short victory for the trumpists uh the nationalists if you will nationalism isn't going to t overtake globalism here uh, which ties into my next topic. So no, the era of peace is not before the Antichrist. And we talked about this for about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, citing different sources and just using the current headlines from today to indicate that. So revolution is leading people to the Antichrist. We talked about Skojak and some of his ilk on Benedict the 16th and why they're wrong. Their uh, disposition, if you will, on... Uh, Benedict's quote-unquote resignation. It wasn't a resignation. It was a renunciation of the pet of the active portion of the Petrine office as Professor Violi, eminent canon uh, theologian over there in Europe, 
uh, first had to say some years ago. We talked about the Ecclesia Day, the recent moves, and the uh, eventual abolishment of the Latin Mass. Father Kramer explains this quite eloquently. What direction is the SSPX headed? That was a point-blank question that I asked Father Kramer. Find out what he has to say by joining tradcatnight.org. The NWO Endgame Timeline. We discussed this at detail. World War III, Russia, China, the creation of the Antichrist European Army. What about the latest from World Youth Day? Modernist monstrance madness we can denote it as. Francis not wanting to kneel? Well, find out what Father Kramer has to say and why it only follows suit based upon Francis's essentially paganistic belief system. The latest Fatima Watch geopolitical news we covered. We covered, theologically speaking, the difference between common opinion versus certain opinion. Also, common opinion versus a more, more common opinion, if I could say it like that. What we see in 2019, another point blank question I asked Father Kramer again, find out what he has to say. Dr. Honowski's latest work on the fake sister Lucia, Father Kramer also weighs in on this. We talked in general about the one world religion, the one world government, the end of Christianity, if you will, as we know it. Of course, we're us going underground, as Benedict XVI alluded to, and how the arrival of the Antichrist is imminent, folks. And I truly could have went on and on in terms of promoting this i could have probably added another 10 to 20 pieces because this talk is about an hour and 20 minutes long you're not going to want to miss this exclusive talk uh, which you will only find at tradcatnight.org so again 25 to 50 posts on a regular basis here at tradcatnight.org uh, highly unique website highly interactive there's a message board chat room there's a webcam live stream which if you sign up today you can gain access to for free for the first month there's live call-in shows Tuesdays and Fridays. I've got another live show coming tonight, open line. So I hope to hear from some of you who do sign up. My own art articles, analysis are only seen there. My various writings uh, and poems from the book that I'm working on, Fortress of the Soul, are, are only there. And if you want to uh, have a look at some of the testimonials as to those who have been helped by the Trad Cat Night Apostle, well, you can get up to the top of tradcatnight.org, locate that testimonials link up there, and find out what others have to say about this website. Uh, there's numerous resource pages, links to live masses, holy hour, divine office. You can even write your own articles and commentaries, folks, which will be published for the group to see. The church is going underground. So join us, End Time Eagles, as St. Louis de Montfort described us. He very eloquently used such you know, animal-like symbology, eagle representing one of them, those highly devoted to Our Lady who are going to have a special share in the victory over the Antichrist. And I don't have time, folks, to get into my great guest lineup for the next month. All that I can tell you is uh, for every day, <laughs> basically Monday through Saturday, I at least have one guest coming onto the program. Some days, two and three guests. I, I probably overdid it again, but I'm already overbooked for upcoming February. So you're going to get a ton of special guest podcasts for the upcoming month. Again, don't forget to invite your friends, family members uh, to tradcatnight.org. No, you don't have to be Catholic to sign up. Many just sign up just because they want to get tuned in to the latest podcast. That is all fine with me. And it's great to see all those new to tradcatnight.org. Even over the past 24 to 48 hours, we've had a, uh, an upsurge, if you will, in members to the group. Uh, hope to see some new faces over the next 24 to 48 hours. Check the description box right now of this YouTube video. You see that little show more uh, link below this video. Click that or it'll open up to the whole uh, to the whole information, all of the promotional uh, information that I provide here at tradcatnight.org with the direct links as to how to sign up. Uh, again, Stripe, the payment processor is faster, easier, safer than PayPal. So no worries there. I've been using it for years uh, for those of you who are concerned. Uh, in any case, folks, that's it. You're not going to want to miss this talk as a Catholic, as someone who should be seeing the writing on the walls, microchip technology, the rebuilding of the third temple, a, year, uh, a now talk of a 10 nation coalition, if you will, out in Europe, all points to the Antichrist being imminent. Again, the Arab peace comes after the defeat of the Antichrist. Many traditionalists get this wrong. So stay plugged in 
to all of the latest end time news and church apostasy news here at trancatnight.org. And until next time, stay safe. God bless. Ave Maria.